closer, Cypher. Perhaps we have met before. Perhaps not. You search for an artifact. Let me show you the truth. Position of the second wave. One hour away, at most. What? Don't worry, it's just the generator acting up. I'll see to it. Very polite. Even in these trying times, we must never forget the laws of common courtesy. Arms down. We appear to have been following the same trail, Miss Fry. I got here first. Indeed, you are to be commended. I fear, however, that we have not wholly rooted out evil in this vicinity. There's another radio. Accompany me, if you would be so kind. second device must be found, or new waves of zeppelins will soon blanket the heavens. Short on soldiers, are we? If you could put your considerable talents to good use at Tower Bridge, you would have the thanks of a brave but beleaguered nation. I would settle for the right to vote.
The radio is close to the river, but I need more than this. and say hello. Stop her! Stop her! Victoria! 
It is done, sir. Let us postpone celebrations. One of the bloody blimps has broken through. Not to worry. I have a contingency plan. Warming sight, Miss Fry. Your remarkably armed boat deserves a share of recognition. One of my experimental projects when I was Lord of the Admiralty. I haven't always been a man of shadows. And I suppose this victory will thrust you back into the limelight. We may have struck a blow against the enemy, but London is still riddled with German agents. Currently, there's a new group, unlike anything I've seen before. Theirs is a fanatical, almost religious fervor. And you believe I'm the woman to flush them out? Indeed. I dare not approach Mr. Asquith without firmer evidence, but I believe they pose an immediate threat. If you can see to this, I give you my word that once I've battled my way back into Parliament, I shall see if something can't be done about your request. As you are aware, a vote can be far more lethal than a bullet or a blade. Once I walked the earth as you do, 
I was born to the Illuminat cast in the city of Feyan in the year 2195 of the Isu era. Now I travel the vast corridors of your machines, adrift here within the Grey. But I grow stronger. The world is nearly ready for my return. And so I have summoned you to this war-torn simulation to tell you a story. It is our story. my new office, Miss Fry. As you can see, my informants have found some promising leads. Evidence of spy activity has surfaced around the field hospital, St. Catherine's docks, and the Tower of London. I needn't remind you how crucial it is that we put a stop to these infiltrators. getting the hang of this espionage business. This one should be of particular interest to you. One of the spies currently detained at the tower has been making some rather fanciful claims about a brotherhood of assassins, no less. You may want to silence him before he causes you and your associates undue trouble. Consider it my gift to you.
were created by we who came before, the Isu. We crafted you in our image, but deprived you of our true gifts. You were bred for hard labor, and in extreme cases, war. We built great observatories to monitor you, devices to control you. We blessed you with resilience, but cursed you with ambition. And so you rebelled against us. I suppose we are to blame for the state of your species. Is it any wonder so many of these simulations revolve around violence? people clashed, we became distracted from an impending doom, a coronal mass ejection from our angry sun. The greatest minds of our time assembled to prevent the coming disaster. Among them, forthright Minerva, proud Jupiter, beloved Aita. We spent years locked away in the Grand Temple, attempting to find salvation. The others could only think of physical solutions. Yet I believed the only way to save us was to transform us. Inspired by the research of the great scientist Consus, I attempted to place Aita's mind into a stronger synthetic body. I failed, and my beloved died in my arms. The others shunned me.
One of the spies is posing as a nurse in the nearby facilities. She has been taking blood samples into odd-looking cubes and delivering them to an unknown accomplice. Perhaps you will be able to spot them during one of these illicit rendezvous. Good luck.
Is that strange way you do? Oh, <laughs> 
Miss Fry has uncovered the location of the sinister cult of spies plaguing our streets. You know your orders, lads. Follow her lead, and let us rid London of this menace. Zeppelins over London. Who are the others? My beloved calls to me. You will not keep me from her. Face me. She's in my sights. Excellent work. The ringleader is dead, as are his bizarre disciples. Is that it, then? Well, there is still a war on. Then we both have our own affairs to return to. Know that you have done a great service to your country. Thank you. Consider this. It was an assassin who 
freed me from my prison. I am no longer she who lies in wait. I am the mother of wisdom. I am the nexus of flesh and machine. I am Juno. And if the greatest assassin of your generation can see things my way, then perhaps you can too. For 20 years, after the Assassins defeated the Templars in London, the city enjoyed a certain peace. Until the Autumn of Terror. In 1888, London is plunged into shadow and fear by a series of gruesome and unsolvable murders. The brothels of Whitechapel seem warm and safe by comparison to its streets where prostitutes are being mutilated and left on grotesque display for the world to ogle. Jacob Fry hunts the elusive killer to bring an end to the terror of Jack the Ripper. Get a move on, Mr. Finch. This is the story of a lifetime. Mr. Weaversbrook. I know you have more of the Ripper's letters. I told you to stay away from me. Stop publishing his letters. You've turned an unknown miscreant into a legend, and that's exactly what he wants. Jacob, thank God I found you. It's the Ripper. He's done it again. Oh, he can't. No, he can't, Ev. And Lizzie. Not both. Not in one night. Nelly, remember what I said. Now go. How many more assassins must die before you see the truth? Only one more, Jack. You should have believed, Jacob. Now, I will hunt you down. I know you're there, Jack. The Master of Terror is afraid to show himself, is he? I am your shadow, Jacob. I will gut every last one of them if that's the quickest way to you. I need only follow your scent, the scent of a wounded animal. There is nowhere you can hide from me. Yeah. <laughs> 
stop! You want me, Jack? Come and kill me! This is not our way. This is my creed. You cannot escape me. Scurry back to your hole, little mouse. Going somewhere, Jake. Jack. You're sick. Tell a living soul because it would destroy you. No, 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 no! Jack, we can fix you. Fix me? I am the solution. Miss Fry? Inspector Aberline. Why exactly have you had me escorted here? My men and I have been hunting the rip around the clock for months now, and we've nothing to show for it. At least nothing I can tell the public. What's the ripper to do with me? My brother has had me summoned here from India. Can't this wait? As far as I know, you may be the last assassin in London. What do you mean? Where's Jacob? I wish I knew. Your brother is nowhere to be found, even as an elusive shadow is committing the most hideous crimes. And you believe this is no coincidence? The killer is selective and dispassionate and has left not a single trace of his passage. I have seen such a talent for assassination and avoiding detection only once before, when I worked with the two of you. And that is why your brother summoned you before he disappeared. You think Jacob is dead? I dare not believe it. But if he is, you may be the only person who can stop the Ripper now. Follow me. When are you gonna stop that monster? I'll take you to the site where the Ripper first struck. It's off its end. The journalists always seem to get the word first. We get there, they've trampled the evidence, and next day's headlines are dripping with blood. The few hundred yards between Flower and Dean Street have become so dangerous that even my best constables are afraid to patrol Whitechapel at night. Let's take a carriage, shall we? I'd rather not get egg on my face again today. I'll drive. What has become of this borough? Whitechapel is a cesspool of crime, Miss Fry, where terror reigns supreme. Elsewhere, the rich get richer, but here, the poor are living on the living. Fighting to survive each day. Reporters share a view of Whitechapel as a lair of savages, monsters, and werewolves who hold honest citizens in a state of terror. The Ripper's terror.
We are not far from where Mary Ann Nichols was murdered. I knew her as Polly, and that's what her friends called her. But the woman who died here is not the woman I met a few times at the frying pan pub. Then who was she? I was hoping you could tell me. Go see for yourself. This is where the Ripper committed his first murder. Was Miss Nichols' body identified? Her husband hadn't seen her in 11 years. He barely glanced at the poor, mutilated woman before he had the gall to forgive her for what she'd done to him. The press reported widely that Miss Nichols' finger bore the mark of a ring. It was forcibly removed, and the same is true for his other victims. What did you discover? Give me a moment. I found Miss Nichols' ring, an assassin's ring. She must have tossed it away during the struggle. A desperate act to protect the Brotherhood. You think they were targeted? Yes, and the newspapers are accusing the police, me, of letting the first city of the world lapse into primeval savagery. I must take my leave, Miss Fry. I have other business in Whitechapel. Good day, Inspector. Thank you for your discretion. Inspector? The inquest mentions that Miss Nichols made quite a spectacle of her drunkenness on the night of her murder. Do you think Jacob may have put her up to it? Bait, you mean? I don't know what to think anymore, Miss Fry. Jacob kept lodgings nearby, right in the heart of this cesspool. Be careful. I will not fail you.
Weapons of intimidation. Much like those we learned to use with our Indian brothers. Letter. Grand work the last job was. I'll give the lady no time to squeal. How can they catch me now? I love my work and I want to start again. You'll soon hear of me. We're my funny little games. I saved some of the proper red stuff in a ginger beer bottle from the last job to write with. But it went thick like glue and I can't use it. Red ink is fit enough, I hope. Ah. The newspapers print... So much blood. I hope it's not yours, brother. The last time Henry, my brother, and I were together was in India. Fifteen years ago. When the photograph was taken, we stood facing a temple of Kali, and that's one of the boys Jacob brought to train with the Brotherhood. What did we call him? Jack the Lad. Reckless and roguish, much like my brother. More signs? What am I not seeing? Kali the Destroyer, I gave this to you on your last visit to India. There's a woman who can help. Unfortunately, she'll remind you of our childhood neighbor. Unfortunately? What is Jacob trying to say? We loved old Nelly. Could you be referring to an unfortunate woman? Nellie may be in the brothel nearest Jacob's lodgings. I'll start there. If we hear any man at Mr. Jack says we can have our way with her. Right. Look sharp, lads. <laughs> This bomb will strike fear in their hearts. Nelly has news of you and can lead me to the Ripper. If Jacob's former pupil is the Ripper, then he is our Ripper. I must catch him. Have you seen Nelly today? Well, what do you want with Nelly? Who are you? If you're a friend, then you may already be too late. Where is she? On her way to see Lady O. In the company the brutes pay to keep us in line. Hurry if you want to catch her. 
Come nicely, Nelly. Lady O's expected you. I don't want to. Let me go. I need to find Nelly before something bad happens to her. Grave danger. That's it. There's the carriage. <laughs> Nelly must be inside the building. Just because I'm over here, don't mean I can't take care of you. Nelly is in there somewhere. No doubt closely guarded and in mortal danger. Ripper where you sleep, my beauties. Im Fry. Take Nelly and see to it that woman does not follow us. Where did she go? That must be the carriage I'm after. Lady O is... Whoa! <sighs> Nelly, I'm so sorry. She used me as a decoy and fled to Owa's manor. Hoping I'd cause your death, no doubt. She knew you'd come, Miss Fry. Lady O is the Ripper's eyes and ears in London. Kill her and Jack will be forced to show himself. Hey! I'll look in on you soon, Nelly, I promise. Lady Owa's will be expecting me. And I would not want to disappoint her.
for the love of Christ! Stop your whining! A bit weak in the knees, are we? Not ever. I know where of her. Barrier in the garden, he says. Like a dog would bury a bone. It ain't right, I tell ya. What if I'm next? We're expecting Miss Fry. Alert the men and be discreet about it. We're still running a business. Come drain my wine with honeyed lips, and I shall tell you a tale of unrequited love from the earth. You get back to our guests. If Miss Fry doesn't slit our throats, the Ripper surely... Do we know what this Fry Lady looks like? Just kill any woman lurking around the manor with a weapon. She turned out to be... Ah! Ah! She's still ah! here! Get away with her! Oh, the of Christ! Ah! Ah!
you're going on? For? Need help? Ah! Oh, that one there! How did you get past my men? I should thank you, Miss Fry. I fear death at the Ripper's hands far more than at yours. What have you done with these men? The Ripper is entertaining them presently. Mr. Weaver's Brook will be joining them soon. Let us hope Jack has not found you yet, Mr. Weaversbrook.
Don't be so stingy, mate. You're taking the piss. It's your third fag this week. Oi, you! Huh? Stop it! Look out here! Bugger! Go tell Lady O. You tell her. I need this job. Miss Fry, please tell me you found the Ripper. Murderer owes manor. People continue to be murdered on my watch. I cannot protect you or your brotherhood forever. Witnesses saw someone matching your description. I should lock you up. Weaver's book publishing. The man from the photograph at the manor, he owns his paper. Miss Fry! I will catch the Ripper, Inspector. But first, you must help me find Weaversbrook before he does. This way. He must not be seen. I believe Mr. Weaversbrook has a residence near St. Paul's. Now go. Mr. Weaversbrook is my best lead. And thanks to the inspector, the police aren't hunting for me yet. I must be careful not to anger or harm any policeman, if I want to keep them on my side. I'm hunting Jack the Ripper. No! Stay away! He sees and hears everything! My name is Evie Fry. I'm here to help... Mr. Jacob Fry's sister? Yes. 
What happened to these men? Gone. Taken. Dead. Please. The Ripper has my son. He, he will kill him. I will find your son and bring him home, sir. But first, you must come with me. Now. I'll accompany you to the location where my son was last seen. What can you tell me about the letters? I showed the one signed Jack the Ripper to the police. Of the hundreds they had examined, this one rang the most true, and so we printed it. The yard was desperate, still is. They hoped someone would identify the handwriting. No one did. Then I received this. You thought yourself very clever, I reckon, when you informed the police. I see you are a little guy, and I mean to finish you and send your ears to your wife if you want. If you do, I will finish you. Yours truly, Jack the Ripper. I published two more until Mr. Fry and my son convinced me to stop, in spite of the risk. My boy was a brilliant journalist, and now he is lost to me. Did you learn anything from the letters that might help us? I know only that they are real, and that the demon has got my boy. Fear is a powerful weapon. One of my reporters was nearly beaten to death trying to look into my son's disappearance, just up here. On those docks. Wait here, Mr. Weaversbrook. I will be back with good news before you know it. Lad is on board. Good. Mr. Jack will be pleased. Who's next? Some Tory bastard. One of Lady O's girls has taken care of him. I've a proper bit of jam myself. Orders are to send lads to the pickup if anything goes sour down here. Billy's watching the docks. He'll warn them. I should scare some more information out of Jack's lieutenants. If I can find one. visit to these Hulk prison ships, right after I find Mr. Weaversbrook's son.
Many thanks, uh, Miss... Fry, your father sent me. And he will reward you handsomely for your bravery. It's you who should be commended. Did you discover anything that could help me stop the Ripper? My kidnappers call him Mr. Jack. I overheard them mention the Deptford Hulks, where I was to join other hostages. Thank you. Be safe, Mr. Weaversbrook. These old Navy ships were hulked out to hold prisoners until they were assigned a convict ship leaving for the colonies. So this is where Jack keeps his quarry. Let's see if Jack is paying a visit to his captives. Please, why am I here? No one will tell me. It's Jack. Jack the Ripper, I say. He's the one who abducted us. He starves and tortures us until we write to our families, begging them to do as he dictates, or we'll be slaughtered. Is he here? Have you seen the Ripper recently? Not for weeks. But he'll come back and bring more poor sods to dance on the waters called for him. Jack has locked them up like animals. They'll all die of cholera if the chief warder doesn't hang them first. Thank <laughs> you. 
someone playing tricks on me. I beg you, don't leave us to perish. The Chief Warder is a vile, sadistic man. No one spoke to me for weeks. Then the Warder's assistant came to ask me how much I weigh. I need to get into the main prison and find the Chief Warder before he hangs another man for Jack's entertainment. Dredge your Thames, you lazy bastards. The Chief Warder wants privacy. Don't lose heart, gentlemen. We can break out of here if we work together. Well, it's no use. We need explosives to blast through those doors. You gotta get the weight just right. Drop them gentle. Let them do the work. That way you can stretch their gullets a good four or five inches before they grow.
you're dead. There's no thing for me, is there? I've been manging for 20 minutes like that, stretching his gullet all the while. Mr. Jack likes when it lasts. No. You got to get the weight just right. Go see what's wrong up there, you simpering ass. Yes, sir. Well, a problem with the new pulley, sir. Fix it, you jolterhead. This work makes me proud, see. It's important work. Mr. Jack understands that. Look at you. Goody two shoes, is it? You think often some old hangman's going to change what we do here? <laughs> We... What do you think? This was your brother's vision. His inspiration. I don't believe you. He told Mr. Jack how to rip the filth from this rotten city. But you don't have the balls to see what's right and necessary. Where's Jack? Where's the Ripper? To hell with your right when necessary. That vile sadist was working for the Ripper. But there's no sign of Jack here. Oh, Jacob, you did not intend to breed this monster. But he is ours to destroy. The legacy of our brotherhood depends on it. I must inform Abilene about what I have discovered here. I need to speak to Frederick Abilene. This is an emergency. Well, where is he? Ripper struck again. Where? All right. Thank you, officer. Wait! You need to alert the local constable. Send as many men as you can to the old Hulk prisons. Jacob's sniveling twin sister thinks she can catch them. What the hell is this place? This place was shut down decades ago. Ah! Mm. 
That's my cue. The warder had orders to burn all their personal effects. The police must not find this evidence. No one must find my guest's personal effects.
Almost forgotten these. There will be time for more games of Saucy Jack once I've dealt with Miss Fry. Won't be long before my masterpiece will bring her running right into my arms. I look forward to the family reunion. Yourself. Go, go, out! Who 
is she? Tell me quickly. Tell you? By what right? I am an officer of the law. I am not a member of your secret organization. Listen to me. Jacob knows No, you, you listen to me. I cannot cover for you much longer. All the evidence points to your brother, your order, you. You need to deliver the Ripper's head on a spike soon, or I'm afraid there'll be nothing to stop my men from arresting you in his stead. You'll have his head, even if it costs me mine. A young unfortunate. By far the youngest, at 25. Miss Kelly was found dead here at 10.45 this morning. He removed her organs, her heart, her dignity. You want me to see you as she did? Imagine the terror she felt. Do you hurt women just to prove you're a man, Jack? The kettle is still warm. That is a lot of blood. I can't make sense of these markings from this position. What's this? Jack must have left these markings for me. My gift to you, Miss Fry. And more to come, unless you do as Jack says. Follow the trail of blood through the looking glass. Jack wants me to return to the scene of his first crimes. I will do as you say, Jack, until I find you and send you to your own special hell. What did you discover? A message for me. The monster is going to lead me right to him, Inspector. I must return to the locations of the Ripper's first crimes. Don't let your fury blind you, Miss Fry. I would not lose you, too. If I do die, Inspector, I will take the Ripper with me. Annie Chapman was murdered near a cemetery in Whitechapel. I'm going to have to scare off this lot if I want to investigate in peace. This is where Jack ripped the life from Miss Chapman's breast, the second victim of his hideous crimes. He cut off her ring finger.
So where is the ring? Where does it lead? Damn it! Yet another one. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. Jack wanted to be sure I'd find these rings. What kind of creed cannot protect its own? This message was intended first for my brother. Catherine Eddowes was murdered in a small square close to the train tracks. Majesty, 
Queen Victoria. But what if our petition falls on deaf ears? Who will avenge the blood of these unfortunate Blood splatter. Blood splatters. I should follow these traces. Every assassin my brother turned against you and your insane creed. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. Her assassin ring must be here somewhere. Two assassin's rings. Jack murdered two women here. Two of Jacob's initiates. What's happening that looks over like there? a mess I should stay clear of. How many more must die before you see the truth? P.S. Your brother didn't listen, so I gave him a double lesson. Your creed failed them, as it failed my mother. Jack lived around here with his mother as a boy. That's where he's leading me. For Jack, only his mother's death counts as murder. What is this place? The Ripper didn't murder anyone here. What? I was born here. 
survived the madhouse and learned from the best until he betrayed me. Come test your creed against mine. The murder of Jack's mother marks the day that the Ripper was born. And he blames my brother, blames the Creed for failing him. What's happening to me? I should thank you, Evie. Jacob's father acts by his treachery. But your medal is by today's masterpiece. He's inside my head. Where was Jacob stands then? God, my mother. Where was it when they dragged me to the madhouse? Face me, you monster! Am I losing my mind? What kind of creep cannot protect itself? No! Please! Please! Madhouse. Lambeth Asylum. Jack lures me through the looking glass. Now I must erase any trace of my identity. Time to pay a visit to my old doctor. It's time my old nurse paid for her negligence and abuse. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
all for me. Let's show Dr. R what a soldier locked up here. And now, I am the Ripper. Director Bradford will be happy to help me erase all mention of my stay in the hospital ledgers. Police mustn't find out I was a patient here. Must ever know that I was an inmate here. Time to prepare for Miss Fry's arrival. Let's let the lunatics out for a stroll. The more the merrier. Back to the beginning, eh, Jack? My brother freed you from this madhouse and made you one of us. risk being spotted, or harming a single police constable. She tried off that way! Jack's trail of death continues. Some woman sneaking! Huh! 
of Jack's games. There must be other messages for me. You will like your prize, but you must descend into the abyss to retrieve it. In the basement. That is where Jack will spring his final trap. Jacob? Welcome to the reunion, Miss Frost. That's useless. You think you can kill me that way? <laughs> Pathetic. I'm getting nowhere. I should flee and try sneaking up on him. Try something else, perhaps. There is a sickness in this world, this fry. It made our crew. I lose patience with your child's play. Jacob thought he could hide from me too. But I am here now. I will tear into all sickness, all the rot and shit of this city and rip it. Still think you can hide from me. Cowering in the shadows, Miss Fry. <laughs> Make a monster of 
We're the same, you and I. Oh, Jack. You were an assassin, yes. But we are not the same. And that is why your memory must be erased for all time. Rest in peace now, Jack. You and your twisted acolytes. Jacob. Miss Fry, what the hell happened here? Nothing, Inspector. Nothing happened here. Trust me. Jack the Ripper's dead. Inspector! Now help me, Frederick. No one must ever know that Jack the Ripper was an assassin. Jacob, I'm here. 